Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for the uh, sorry for the long pause there at the beginning. Uh, welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. Uh, welcome to my first playthrough of Journey to the Savage Planet. Uh, this should be a fun game. Uh, looks interesting. The trailer was fun. Uh, reviews are mixed. Uh, but I always do enjoy myself a good fart joke, so uh, this game is apparently riddled with them. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I go live. Um, gonna get started here in just a moment, just getting myself oriented, uh, getting everything that I need. Uh, make sure I got my vape cartridges ready to go. And sending out a couple of invites, posting on Instagram, all that stuff, you know, the good, all the good shit there, and make sure that people are aware of this stream. Uh, once again, thank you to anybody who has joined or who is watching at a later time. I appreciate all of your views, all of your likes, your subscriptions. Uh, I know six subscribers does not seem like a lot, but hey, last week I had zero, so if we uh, keep going at this pace, well, if we keep going at this pace, I won't have a lot, but I think uh, I think you should be able to pick up some steam pretty soon. All right, and that said, I am ready to start. So, here we go, single player. Let's get this going. So, I have not played this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be figuring it out as we go. This should be fun. I hope it's fun. Budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> but don't stress, however, 
as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck! We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Space travel is not for everyone. Side effects from long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Huh. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. All Welcome. right. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Okay. Okay. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and uh, <laughs> space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers. Could you nice. please identify yourself uh, from this gallery of faces? Oh, that that hair. That that guy looks like a creep. Let's go with the creep. Thank you. Glad you're not crazy. Uh, that's all I had to do. First day of great adventure. Kind of more excited to welcome you to whatever planet I was on. AY26? ARY26? Kindred's Quest to Explore Stars. I'm here to the very people such as yourself, turn in red rocks, can't ever blade of grass, improve scrap ingredients, and there's no best. Uh, blah, 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 My name is Bob. Oh, I already watched that. Okay. And now you're right. ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. This would be a great game in VR. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Nope. Hey, in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Oh, okay. I thought that was a. I thought that was like a grenade. Apparently not. Probably should have read what it was when I picked it up, but I, I, I didn't. Uh, what did she just tell me to do? Wow, I got really stoned. There's an exterior hatch I'm supposed to open up. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. Give me a hint. No. Okay, I was kind of on the right track. Forgot I don't have a jetpack. I've been playing too much No Man's Sky. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Cool. Yeah. You'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations! 
your home already. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Oh, it's a bait. Okay. Huh. That makes sense. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Okay. That's not supposed to look like that. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the photographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Aww, it's chilly. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. These aren't reeds. They're drugs, but good drugs. For healing, not fun. I don't want to slap and kick these things. I, I have to? Alright. Oh, Jesus. That makes sense. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Keep pushing R3 to run and it's L3. <laughs> Again, too much No Man's Sky because it's the other way around with the controller. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands.
Correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful in our exploration efforts. Please scan it. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. No. Hmm. I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more tuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. Oh, might want to get back. Oh my, I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. <laughs> than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. These aren't weeds. Oh, 
Whoa. Is that a different creature now? Where'd you go? Now it's twice as annoying. Just shoot it, please. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? So what does that mean? carrying this around anymore. Well, apparently I am. I don't know why I can't put it away, but okay. Alright, enough exploring. Let's go and find this alien alloy. Should probably get some more upgrades before I explore too much.
As much as you may like to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not, the cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize oh. fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Oh, damn it. Sorry about that. Son of a bitch. Alright, I guess I'm gonna use that. Nice. Alright, let's just use it. Oh, 
showed uh, no fight. All right, that's useful. Ambient temperature 112 degrees. Bio signs nominal. Oh, where'd I go? Really? Because I used a scanner then? Okay. Oh, no scanner. Going crazy. Oh. I keep hearing shit. Back 
upgraded your jetpack. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. Ambient temperature 81 degrees, biosigns nominal. Dumb, but I did it. Amazing. You found a different nugget of the alloy we've been searching for. This should still allow me to perform the necessary repairs, and I salute your proclivity for self direction. Ah. Uh. you will face, but the more data you provide to Kindred through your scanning tools, the more appropriate bloopers we'll be able to send you. On behalf of everyone at Kindred, both biological and autonomous, we wish you good luck. The cartographers have identified a series of very unusual structures at the core of this planet. While our earlier data indicated a rogue planet, this now appears to be incorrect. This is a radical mission-altering discovery, and while you must continue to catalog the planet, it is request that you pay extra attention to anything that appears unnatural or constructed. I have placed a marker at a point of particular interest to our scientists. Oh. 
Sorry, hold on. Sorry, I have to go get my laundry from the dryer. I'll be back. Just remember you did your best. It wasn't very good, but it was your best. Hey, buddy. So, you died, and I made a clone of you that shares your memories. Listen, just don't overthink this. Our bioprinting is accurate to 99.1%. So, as long as you don't die... 49 more times, it's all good. Good news. Kindred's happy with your work so far, and they've decided to reward you with more work. Because capitalism. They've sent along some experiments, which you can tackle at your leisure. They've also added a brand new live sample tool to your 3D printer at no extra cost. Who says Kindred doesn't love you? Beat scraps, fat and gristle, finding its way to your trash? What a waste! 
or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting. Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snuggly playmate from Slimo. Okay, my apologies for that delay. I'll just get myself resituated here. It's uh, always fun doing laundry. She, uh, I got so stoned I forgot that I had stuff in the dryer. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We are about ready to start rocking and rolling again. What was I doing? Completely forgot. Hey, little buddy. Can I do it again? Oh, <coughs> oh yeah, I got the dump. Nice. Yeah, I guess I could have collected the carbon, but... Fuck it. Oh yeah, shit. Oh. 
Pick these up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. That's not somewhere I can go, okay. Nasty looking hole. I wonder what's in it. Can't shoot it either, okay.
friend. bonus of your lovely new jetpack is that you can use it horizontally to dodge a creature such as this one who might seem a little aggressive. You might want to put something sturdy between you and it. Shit, more than one, yay. Fuck, and it again. Fuck off. Try to keep a good distance away from those guys. Go do what I'm supposed to do, eh? I can get in there. 
for the shot. Oh, I'm not making it over there, though. No way, no how. Ah, let's try it. <laughs> I'm not making it back, though. I got really lucky there. Scan it, what the fuck? Unlike the typical bomb of granites that you can carry, this one is far too big to lift. Oh, it's shy. Oh, great. Every time, oh. just, let me, let's just walk out. Crab! The crab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Bar. Ambient temperature 112 degrees, biosigns nominal. Okay, this was dumb. This was dumb.
Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Bio signs, nominal. The plasma you're looking for is inside this cave. Detecting some seismic instability, though.
was in the next room, but sonar suggests it's locked inside some sort of geode. Resources you can create a grapple back at the javelin. Oh, come on, Tether. Perfect for stealing 
shiftless and clambering into weird, arbitrarily floating cubes. The cartographers can now plot a path from your location to the required upgrade ingredients. So get it. Or don't. Your choice. But your compass has been updated. temperature 81 degrees, biosigns nominal. Detecting a nearby source of fuel that might help us with our get out of here eventually problem. If you can scan it and tag it, one of the cartographers can lug it back to the ship for you. little hoarder.
apple seed. Fascinating. The seeds you just picked up appear to belong to the limpet like plants we saw earlier. I wonder what they grow on. Throw the seed! You can do it! Exactly, but it's a perfect fuel source for the javelin. I'll dispatch a cartographer to extract it. <laughs> 